Hello friends, uh, this is Aaron Goldstein speaking to you from uh, my studio Gold Standard Recorders in East Toronto. And uh, I'm coming to you today because I wanted to um, discuss a little bit about uh, a song uh, that I had the honor to produce that has come out recently that um, there's been some talk about it and I wanted to maybe explore the session. The song is uh, performed and written by my, uh, my friend Juliana Riolino. And um, it's from her LP, All Blue, which just came out uh, on You've Changed Records. And it's an LP that we made together um, a while ago, actually, uh, towards the beginning of the pandemic. And um, there was a review of this tune, Lone Ranger, um, I think it was on Exclaim, when it came out as a single uh, a number of weeks ago. And it said that uh, Juliana has, a, has an army of, um, of backing vocalists behind her uh which is true um except that all of them are her uh which is not that uncommon in making records where you have people sing their own backup vocals anyway i thought it would be fun if we went through the session a little bit and uh, i could just show you what's going on in the song because um i'm pretty proud of it i think it's uh, a great i mean it was an amazing composition when it came in the door and i'm really happy with uh what we were able to do with it uh collectively um that is uh jules and me and the band and uh and uh a special guest or two um so without further ado let's dig into it okay we're going to start with um just the bed track um this this record actually got tracked at um, a previous studio that i was running called baldwin street sound and in the time since i've moved to this new place so it wasn't on this trident desk it was uh we tracked it on a ward beck desk that i had at the uh at the baldwin street location for five or six years uh, but anyhow um the the bed performers uh of course uh jules singing and playing guitar and uh, uh her her lead vocal would have come later but um she played a lot of guitar on this record uh on drums we have ian romano ian ski romano of course on bass we have ryan gavel uh on piano i believe this was an overdub we have tom hammerton the great uh, Guelphite, Tom Hamerton. We have Dave Nardi on guitar. Um, there's a baritone guitar, which I believe is my overdub. And then a whole bunch of vocals. And of course, Anthony Rinaldi on the baritone sax. Oh, you know what? Baritone guitar is... Barry is Barry sax. Okay. There's no baritone guitar. There's Barry sax. That's that's Anthony Rinaldi. We'll get to that in a sec. Uh, first, let's just cue up uh, just the bed itself. Uh, which, of course, is the two guitars, the bass, the drums, and the piano. Here it is. Right. So, not much doing. We have Ski holding it down. Here's Ryan. Here's Tom Hamerton. Just these little twinkly things. Verse two. Okay, there's there's Dave twanging it. Twanging it out. Let's pull Dave for a sec. Here's Jules. Kind of a grungier guitar. But when it all comes together, it really works nicely. I just want to... Uh, jump over to the chorus for a sec so we can have a, a sense of what Tom is doing on the piano, uh, which is this. Just a classic da do run wrong kind of thing. Uh, is that the song that it's from? It's one of those tunes. That was like a full-on uh, reference that we did uh, that I gave to him in the studio. Um, was like, no, play the chorus exactly like this. And he nailed it to his credit. Okay, let's introduce that Barry Sax in the chorus. It's two tracks of it. Um, 
it's my arrangement, but it all, I mean, it was not much of an arrangement. I basically sang it to Anthony and he played it right back, uh, which was amazing. Um, he's a fantastic player and it really worked out well. Um, and then when we get to uh, later in the tune, we have some more different stuff going on here. <laughs> Sorry, uh, the second pre-chorus. I don't feel this part. a little part here at the end of this pre-chorus was two extra berry saxes let's hear what those sound like so just a harmony on bam, ba, 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 ba. Um, i'm really happy with how that came together and uh although of course that part had to suffer a tiny bit uh in favor of a, a better vocal mix um i just thought it should be out there and heard okay so Excuse me. We um, let's just revisit the piano in that pre-chorus as well. So he's keeping a pretty heavy left hand thing going on, which is really really great. Um, oh, there's actually there is actually a combo organ which I don't think made the mix. Let's hear that. This is in the uh, the first chorus. Let's have a listen. Oh, you know what? I think it did make it. There you go. A little bit of combo organ for you. Okay, the main reason for me doing this and what I really want you to hear is, um, so Jules uh, is just like one of the strongest singers that I've ever heard. They're calling her uh, the white hot lung these days, which is apt. Um, she walked in the door with like not only these incredible songs, but just such uh, such amazing um, performances. Really, uh, she was ready to to kill these songs like from the bed takes, um, which is I mean it's a dream for a producer to have somebody walk in that ready and that fully realized. Um, and all we really had to do was like you know dress the songs up a little bit or just you know coach the performances and whatever. Uh, and by we, I mean me. <laughs> here's here's the top of her lead vocal. I've made a few mistakes. I always know I can throw my uh, my Kramer tape on the lead vocal because when Kenny Meehan's going to mix the record, I know that he and I both appreciate that plug-in quite a lot. He, I've essentially got it from him. So uh, Jules is also that type of person who, if I'm not mistaken, sang every one of the harmonies on this record herself uh, because not only is her voice fantastic but her ear is amazing and when I'm looking for a backing vocalist when I'm going to hire a backing vocalist um, it is about their vocal range and their tone and stuff like that but it's very much about their ear because if they don't have the ear to find the parts or to sing back the parts to me that I'm coaching them to perform then what good are we uh, Jules came in here just like ready to do all that stuff by herself and she fucking nailed it so uh, let's have a quick listen to um, just this uh, the second verse here where she comes in with her own harmony love your I think one thing that Jules and I agree on, um, and a, a lot of our uh, our shared um, uh, our shared collaborators and whomever else, uh, is that this is fully an auto tune free zone. Uh, it's very very rare that I will ever use a pitch correcting software, and the times where I make an exception is usually uh, on a backing vocal. 
if we don't have time to get it right and the record is depending on us finishing in time and the budget is, uh, you know, depending on us finishing in time. So uh, that's the rare occasion where I'll use it. There is absolutely no pitch correction on this record. Uh, that is Jules using her ear and singing with herself. And then we've got three additional Julianas that appear in the chorus here, or excuse me, in the pre-chorus. Let's hear it. It's all right. Do, 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 do. It's okay. Straight up do, do, doing. On a change. Okay, we've heard that, uh, but just just a really uh, really great uh, little thing there with the do do do's, you know, a classic girl group thing. My my pitch to Jules with this tune was, and it was probably one of the only ones where I actually was like, wait, we're gonna like mold this thing that you have into something entirely new, because uh, most of the record arrived like pretty well realized. This tune, I was like, we're we're gonna do like I'd like to do a girl group thing, like a you know a classic like early '60s girl group thing, but make it also kind of still have a uh, sort of punk rock attitude or like have a bit of a uh, an edge to it, um, which is um, kind of a dumb way to explain it. But I mean, that's I think ultimately what we got, and she rose to the challenge uh, unbelievably. Here is that next um verse this is the thing that i can remember laboring over like at the end of the process like maybe one of our last days in the studio we were trying to decide what are these ants like these callbacks that the girls are going to sing the three jewels are going to sing back to the lead jewels let's hear what we ended up with Lying, trying, Right, so I remember going back and forth and Jules is in the booth and it's midnight or whatever time, it was dark for sure. And we were trying to figure out what are these phrases and here's what we got. Stab me in the back, put a nail in my coffin. Stab me in the back, put a nail in my coffin. Ha, 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 and I never could stop because the lyric is about laughing and, and we we could not figure out something for this middle one for so long and then we were like we're so dumb we got to use laughing and just go ha 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 <laughs> heart is made of steel Unbelievable. That's about all I have to show you on here. Um, I'd love to show you out there more songs from this record and just generally other records that I've done, but because this one is pretty fresh and it's just come out, I'd really love to uh, open up these sessions and discuss them. Uh, if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments. And I hope this was uh, fun for you. It was definitely fun for me. All right, see you around.